YouTube is not a competition. Hey guys, it's Brianna Carly and I am back with another video. I don't think this video is going to be that long because my notes section was really short but it was just something that could be a word of advice for small youtubers or those who are thinking about starting a youtube channel youtube is not a competition if you want to start your youtube channel start it now start it whenever you feel like it do what you want to do post what you want to post you know within policy guidelines but just do what you feel you want to do. And if this is a goal for you, do it. Oh, I probably just said do it, do it, do it a lot. But do it. I've been seeing it, especially now since we're all put away during quarantine. And, you know, people who have wanted to do YouTube are finally like, this is the time for me to go ahead and start it up, get it going. And props to you guys. Don't listen to anyone tell you too many people are doing youtube this that and the other yeah of course youtube is way more saturated than it was many years ago but i mean there's no reason for you not to do it there's room for everybody on the platform never be discouraged because you feel like somebody else's channel is growing faster than yours doing better than yours or you feel like their quality is this that and the other never let that get in the way of what you're doing with your channel because everybody has to start somewhere everybody grows and there, like like i said previously there is room for everybody take it for myself like i know there's room for everybody to be on youtube because I watch videos on people writing with fountain pens. So there's somebody out there watching the type of content you plan on putting out there. Sorry, this angle is a little bit different, but I had to fit this uh, clip in there because uh, the one is following does not make sense without it. But I was going to say, don't let the lack of support drive you. For example, you might have your channel and a person with mutual friends has started up their channel also. Don't get discouraged because people that you feel are mutual between you two are supporting them more than you. You don't have to worry about that. The support will come and it does not have to come from the people you know. Cause me personally, okay, sometimes I, you know, post pretty pictures or whatever the case is, but I've never been like the super popular person. I didn't get on you know, my Facebook or whatever social media platforms and let the world know that I was creating a YouTube channel and just like everybody was like, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. Like nobody's looking for me. But I did not let that stop me from starting my channel. Another tip, never feel like you have to keep up with the next YouTuber just because they posted whatever prank videos. If pranking is not your style, you do not have to do that. I know a lot of people suggest like going to see what's in the trending area and stuff like that and post the videos along that so you could be picked up in the algorithm and stuff like that xyz blah 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 if you can do that and be like organic in your actions in your speaking and stuff like that go ahead more power to you but i know i can't step into certain realms of you know activities on youtube and look genuine like if i were trying to prank my mom or family or something it will look so forced like i'm just kind of awkward i can't do that like i just know my my realm is just kind of chill maybe a little awkward or whatever i you know i can't give you those what's up baby girl like the people who know me would know that like since when brie since when and then I don't want to get locked into a personality on YouTube that's just like not me and I can't keep up with because it's just not me. This is a tip. I think I just said it earlier. I'm just all over the place. I got it written down, but the stuff is just like whatever. You may see them sharing her and not your page when you feel like you were close enough for them to support you also. 
don't get wrapped up in it don't worry about it like i said previously support will come and it does not have to be from people you know it does not have to be from the people you thought should have been supporting you never be entitled basically another tip don't go out of the way to get all this expensive equipment you don't have to have the most expensive equipment the most expensive software and stuff like that you can gradually get there and if you have the money to drop on it immediately more power to you go ahead do that don't let anybody stop you but i know in my case especially with the inconsistencies right now it would be like nonsense for me to like just get this total with the works filming equipment and stuff like that and then go missing from youtube for another three months once again i think i'm repeating myself remain original stay true to your niche stay true and stay within your realm not saying don't branch out and experiment with different things but you know just what speaks to you do it if it feels like it will be forced just avoid it all in all, I just want to say, enjoy yourself while you post and while you grow. Don't get discouraged. YouTube is not a competition. Everybody has their own lane. And actually, we should, you know, be working together, collabing and stuff like that. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn the notification bell on if you want to be updated when I post new content. Thanks for watching.